Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about constraints in system wetlock. So, during randomization, by using the random keyword, we can generate any random values. But with the help of constraints, we can generate a meaningful random values. So, with the help of constraints, we can generate meaningful random values so constraint helps in generating meaningful random values and constraints helps us to generate a range of values or with inset of values or other than a range of values so this is achieved by constraints inside operator so with the system with lock inside operator random variables will get values specified within the inside block so values so this is a constraint and this is a constraint name followed by curly braces opening the curly braces and uh, this is a variable that we are randomizing and using the keyword inside we can generate what values we can what set of values what range of values we need this variable to be randomized so with the help of this keyword inside which is used in this constraint we can generate the meaningful values and we can generate the set of values we, which we want to generate like this here in this example we are taking a constraint called address underscore range and we are taking this variable eddr and we are specifying the keyword inside and we are gen and we are giving the value 5 down to 10 that is the eddr will the values of eddr will be from 5 to 10 so and we can also specify what values should this random vari variable eddr should contain for example here we are taking constraint called addr underscore range and inside the curly braces we are mentioning addr inside 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 so the value of addr so the value of addr will be 1 3 5 7 9 like this we can specify what values should our random variable addr should have and we can also mix the range and set of values like this constraint followed by constraint name and inside the curly braces addr inside 1 comma 3 and 5 down to 10 and 12 13 down to 15 so the addr can have the values of 1 3 and within a range of 5 to 10 it can have any values and it can have 12 and within a range of 13 to 15 it can have any set of values so this is the meaning of this country and if the value need to be outside the range then it can be specified as inverse of the inside here we have declared a constraint and constraint name as addr, addr underscore range and within curly braces we have mentioned not of inside 5 down to 10 so the value which is outside this range will be generated so the value outside this range will be generated in this case value outside this Ranges. Next, other random variables can be used inside the block. For example, we have declared a variable called start underscore address of 4 bit and we have declared it as ran and we have declared another variable called end underscore addr as ran of bit data type of 4 bit and we have declared addr. It is also a ran type of 4 bit data type of 4 bit. And we have declared a constraint called addr underscore range and inside the curly braces we have mentioned addr inside start underscore address start underscore addr and end underscore addr so addr can have the values within the range so addr can have the value between the range start underscore addr and, and end underscore addr let's see this example we have declared a class called packet and we have three variables called addr start underscore addr and end underscore addr all these three variables are declared as ran of bit data type and three of size 4 bit and we have a constraint called addr underscore one underscore range and we have declared addr inside start underscore addr to end underscore addr so here the range of addr is in between start underscore addr and end underscore addr and we have we have declared a model called constraint 
underscore inside and within initial begin block we have declared the handle for the class packet and we have created an object for this handle and we are displaying and we are repeating three times this loop within this loop we are randomizing pkt dot randomize and we are displaying t start edda t start underscore edda equal to percentage zero percentage d and n underscore edda equal to percentage d and we are displaying packet dot start underscore edda and packet dot n underscore edda and we are displaying t edda that is pkt underscore edda let's see the output so first time when it is randomizing the value of start underscore eddr will be equal to 12 and end underscore eddr will be equal to 13 and we have declared a constraint that eddr should be in the range of start underscore eddr to end underscore eddr so here start underscore eddr is 12 and end underscore eddr is 13 so our eddr is between this 12 and 13 that is 12 and second time when we are randomizing this variable handle second time we are randomized when we are randomizing this we are getting start underscore addr as 3 and n underscore addr as 7 and addr as 7 so we are getting addr in between this two only and again when we are randomizing for the third time start underscore addr equal to 5 and n underscore addr equal to 11 and we are getting addr equal to 9 again we are getting the value between these two values so here so here the constraint addr is working perfect that is addr is in between the range start underscore addr and end underscore addr thank you for watching this video